Peter Delapena here with Ireland coach Phil Simmons after the team's 64 run win over USA here on the fourth day of the ICC World 2020 qualifier. Congratulations coach on the win. You guys started off the tournament with a very close defeat to Namibia but now you've won three in a row. What have been the keys to bouncing back in the, in the way that you have? Against, against Namibia we didn't, we didn't play as well as we could do and we've just been trying to make sure that all parts of our game come up to standard, to the standard that we want and, and, and we'll, we'll keep winning them. So that's all we've been trying to do, get everything up to standard. You had an 86 run partnership for the fourth wicket. USA took three quick wickets to get your team to 32 for three in the fifth over, but Ed Joyce came in played a really solid anchor role and then got some great assistance from Kevin O'Brien. Two years ago you didn't have Ed Joyce around in this tournament. Having him here this time, what has it done for the team to lift them in matches like this? Well like you said, two years ago we didn't have we didn't have Ed here and we qualified so it's not it's not a case of um, not having him but he just brings experience and, and it's a good thing to always have in the team. Um, so the experience that he has from playing the number of years now, so that's a good thing for all the youngsters in the team. But would you say Niall O'Brien was a, a, a big key to your success two years ago at this tournament? He's not around this time. Do you think Ed has kind of stepped in and, and filled his role in terms of the batting side of things? Well, he's, he's had one score in this game, so he's done that in this game. So we see what happens as we go along. I think it's a case where everybody comes up, everybody comes up Trump at some point in time, so he's done his job today and somebody else will do it tomorrow. Your team went to Kenya ahead of this tournament, and then after playing in the Intercontinental Cup and the World Cricket League Championship, you had a tour to South Africa. What are the things that your side worked on throughout those matches and in that pre, pre-tournament pre uh, trip to South Africa that you feel have helped the team in this first week in Dubai? Well, I think you work, we worked on everything to do with T20 cricket. I, I think it's a case where we were coming out of winter, we were coming into four day cricket and then two one days, so we had to do some sort of work on T20 cricket. So I think that's the, that's the major thing we try and put, put in for us, T20 cricket um, skills. You have a day off before playing against Scotland in your next match. What are you going to do over the next 24 to 48 hours to get ready for that contest? We're going to have a long rest over the next 28 to 24 hours. The guys are just going to rest, enjoy themselves, and then we come here on, on Sunday ready to play. Two years ago, after the tournament had finished, you made some comments that were critical of, of the scheduling of the tournament. You had to play six matches in five days in that tournament. Here, again, it's a very packed schedule, seven matches in eight days to start off the group stage. And depending on how the results fall, some teams may wind up playing as many as 11 matches in 12 days to, to qualify. Do you feel that the scheduling has been any more fair or less fair compared to how things were arranged two years ago? No, the scheduling is still the same. You can't can play four games in four days, one day rest, play three games in three days, and one day rest, and then play another three games in three days, so, or three games in two days. So the scheduling is not, is not ideal. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to say about that, but I know it's not ideal and it's not good, it's not good for, for fitness and I'm sure there are players from each team now who carry niggles because of the, of the day in, day out. How are you then trying to pace your players in order to keep them fit over the course of the two weeks? Well, we're just trying to do, do the things we have to do on the field and then do whatever the, um, the physio and them say for recovery and, and, and try and do that and let's hope that that, that works because you can't do more than that. Okay, Ireland head coach Phil Simmons, thanks a lot for your time. No